Okay, friends, we're going to take a look at what this uh, female pastor, Ashley Wilkerson from Pacific Coast Church down in Tacoma, Washington, had to say. Uh, it's just right down the road for me. I used to be Facebook friends with her and her husband. I think they moved on from our friendship a while ago. So probably I was supporting the patriarchy a little too much for their taste. But anyway, uh, I want to show this video of a clip from her. And I chose this specific one because this guy responding, I thought, was really funny. And he has a really cool mustache. And so it was a little bit entertaining. So let's take a look. Then we'll talk about it a little bit. It's the Lord's Day. I got my Bible. I'm ready to hear the word. Prisca, Mary, Phoebe, Junia, Tryphena, and Tryphosa. Their names are my favorite to say. Many others that were apostles, <laughs> leaders in the early church, some of which their names have been changed in scripture because we understood, we thought, oh no, they can't be women apostles. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. I'm not telling you this so you distrust scripture. I'm not talking about that. I'm calling you to dig deeper because sometimes it gets muddled in our culture. It gets muddled in all of our devices that we're all wrapped up in. But God is not that muddled God. All right, what a great mustache that guy had. But back to the content of uh, Pastor Ashley. So claiming that... Um, translators of the Bible change the names of the apostles to make them all look like men. Uh, I think that's a ridiculous uh, assertion. Uh, you know, there's a lot of debate over women's role in church. I think it's a reasonable debate. I fall more on the complementarian side. I have great friends who fall on the more egalitarian side that believe that you no know, women can be pastors. I think that scripture is clear. They also think that their scripture is clear. Uh, but I think the reality is that we can make a case on both sides without this conspiracy that translators changed the names to make it look like uh, all the apostles were men when actually some of them were women. And we can we can acknowledge, those of us who are complementarian can acknowledge God loves women. He uses them in remarkable ways in the church to build a body of Christ. And we, we don't uh, dishonor them in any possible way, even if we believe that they can't hold the office of pastor. And so obviously this woman, uh, Ashley, has kind of maybe a chip on her shoulder. She's so desperate to defend uh, her role as a pastor. She's willing to make up these claims that Bible translators uh, change the names of the apostles in Scripture. Thankfully, uh, we can go back and look at the original text. Thankfully, God preserved his word so that we could do that, and we can understand who these people were. And I think as we look through Scripture, we see a reverence towards women and Jesus working alongside women, and we can love and honor women and uh see how God can use them in the church, in our lives. And we sometimes need to have a higher respect for women, but we can do that without twisting scripture, without trying to read something into it that's not there, without these conspiracies that translators actually change the names to uh, dismiss the role of women in the early church. So read your Bible, stay strong, uh, love the women in your life. They're awesome, but also let's let's surrender to God's word, and we can have these lively debates without twisting and denigrating God's word. Also, check out CalibrateMinistries.com for more resources and podcast episodes, and check out our merchandise store for some really snarky and funny t-shirts that support God's design for gender and sexuality. 